And ladies and gentlemen, here we are live at the flat in Greenwich Village. This is episode number 90 and it's going to be special because for the first time we are going to have a piano party right here with some amazing guests. But first of all, I want to say happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And you can see here next to me is uh, my wonderful friend, one of the most uh, remarkable uh, pianists uh, yeah. around, uh, you know. This young man, uh, within a few years, made a sensational career, and I'm so proud and honored to have him here today. Ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, Hammett Cohen. <laughs> sono, you? sono molto contento di essere qui, grazie mille, signore Rossano. Ma bravissimo! <laughs> Avete visto per la prima volta <laughs> Emmet uh, di solito io mi dimentico di parlare in italiano, ma Emmet questa volta ha aperto la trasmissione in italiano e ci fa molto onore. I forget sometimes to speak in Italian for my own people, but now this time Emmet right away. Man, that's uh, the winner, you know? <clears throat> Well, Pasquale was probably pretty good too. Pasquale, so. Pasquale is a man of few words, yeah. you know. <laughs> I, I think he has been here many times. I don't think he ever spoke as many words <laughs> as you did right now. But you know, I want to tell you that somehow this show uh, this week uh, starts uh, in a formal way, but I'm going to guarantee you that it's going to turn informal eventually. So, and I'll stop here. So, why don't we play a tune together right away? That sounds good. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Should I get the other bench? <coughs> no, we just, no, uh, we just share <coughs> the one. All right.
Simon Cohen. <laughs> Man, so, so, such a pleasure. I think uh, this is the first time that officially we play together. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> Emmett, why don't you play piano solo for us? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Emmett Cohen. <laughs> do, do you mind if I sit here? No. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to sit here so <laughs> I can watch you. <laughs> stage uh, mm. a, a remarkable I would say uh, a great virtuoso of jazz piano and also a fantastic uh, singer you know and uh, a sensational uh, entertainer I, I don't have enough <coughs> uh, words uh, to express my admiration for you Mr. Johnny O'Neill <laughs> I'll say one of the great jazz musicians alive, one of the great musicians alive, and uh, someone who has given so much to the New York jazz scene and beyond. My teacher, one of Rosano's great teachers. Great inspiration. And everybody has to go through the school of Johnny O'Neill when they come to New York. Oh, wow. It's an, honor to, it's an honor to have you here. I would reciprocate the same admiration, you guys. 
Give them a nice hand, please. <laughs> with the DH. Yes, yeah, please. Okay. You know, um, I just thought of this song. This is called, it's, it's for all the Valentine ladies out there. Uh -oh. Valentine. This is called Every Day I Fall in Love. Every day I fall in love all over again with you. I'll never let our love grow old. I'll always keep it new. Valentine is you. Like the sweetest story told. Like honeymooners do. And he sing I'll do. I'll do to prove to you that romance will never die. It's an honor and pleasure to be here as well, and thank you so much for having me here. It's an honor. Great setup. My honor as well. Nice to hear you play as always. Thank you, Johnny. One of the great young pianists of this generation. Oh, you come thank on. You. What are we going to do, young man? Uh, we should have rehearsed this before. No, no. We, <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of tempo are you? Oh, no. What kind of tempo Whatever you like. Uh, we'll stomp it at the Savoy. Okay. Let's try it. Well, you, let me, you start. Oh, switch it on. Thank you. 
you go i have a, a desire i would love <laughs> to accompany on the tune that you sing okay can we do that sure so i'm gonna pull up this chair here okay you know these are my bare paws right here <laughs> <laughs> with the with the with the suit and the tie and the, and the, the handkerchief nice. and the bare paws you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, I remember that uh, uh, once before uh, we played this wonderful ballad together that is called uh, Blame It On My Youth. Yes, that's after the first time I heard it, so I not can go to it. That's right. Yeah. And uh, th I fell in love with that tune uh, because I heard uh, Barry Harris playing it right. and singing. Oh, is that right? That's Very right. Well, yeah. And so l let me ask you something, because I know that uh, you also, well, more than anyone else probably have a strong connection with Barry Harris. Would you like to tell us something to, to as a tribute to Barry that is not here with us anymore? Well, actually, the first time I met Barry, um, I was 14 years old. My dad took me to meet him in Detroit. And he thought at that time that I could really play. I didn't think I could at that time. Then the second time I came in acquaintance with him was in New York in 1979. I told him I was going to come to New York to visit. He said, well, you make sure you come to New York, you give me a call. So I called him and told him I was coming to New York. And uh, he said, meet me at Central Park. Of course, I didn't know where Central Park was. I was lost as hell trying to find him. But he was there waiting for me. So he took me over to Jersey. He introduced me to Thelonious Monk. Wow. He told me that was a surprise. He had me. <laughs> and we sat and hung out all day with the Baroness and Mika, and it was great. Wow. That's, that was the first time. That, that, that's an incredible And we also shared the same birthday, October 10th. Wow. Yeah. wow. Same we had Monk, Junior Man, Sweet Edison. Well, that's long fun. list of that's fun. That's sometimes coincidences yeah. like this. Synchronicity, you yeah, see? Right. <laughs> all right, so blame it on my youth. So is uh, in what key should we give um, it a try? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> If only 
exist. Blame it on my youth. I believe in everything. Like a child. One and only Johnny O'Neill. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Such, such a pleasure. All right. You know, uh, this is going to be a surprise because there is uh, with us a surprise guest that was not announced, but I'll tell you what happened. This afternoon, a couple of hours before we uh, came on uh, live, I got the text message by this uh, young gentleman that actually was featured here at the flat a few weeks ago. He's a remarkable young bass player from, uh, from Italy. His name is Giuseppe Cucchiara, and uh, we would like to invite him to play something. All right, so uh, should we play something together with the okay. bass? All right. All right. Whatever you say. I I'll start. I'll start, what about uh, 
if we do uh, what is this thing called law? All right. Is that okay? Yeah. That's Giuseppe Cucchiara. I'll get it started. <laughs> and then... <laughs>
I thought you meant the bass cadenza. Oh. <laughs> That's Johnny. Only. So, Johnny, get a little rest because I would like to to ask Emmett to play a duet with uh, with Giuseppe. Okay. okay. All right. This is uh, Emmett Cohen. Once again, Johnny O'Neill. God bless you. God bless you, Johnny. What do we got? Uh, I don't know. Should we play a ballad? Sure. Uh, what are the options? This is the uh, this is the, the rehearsal. Of ladies. Uh, hmm. Put me on the spot here. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it's informal. <laughs> Let's see. Um, is it a piece by Horace Sewell? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> That's Peace by Horace Silver. That's Giuseppe on the bass. Sounds nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. That's Emmett Cohen. Emmett Cohen and Giuseppe. <laughs> so, I think before we wrap this up, I'm going to play a little You're going to play a solo or something, yeah. Giuseppe, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> people, people want their money's worth. <laughs> Man, this, is, this is a blast. Can we do this every week? <laughs> you know, All right. I, already, I feel like I already do this somewhere every week. <laughs> oh, by the way, to, to uh, the followers of live at the flat in Greenwich Village, I think they all know, but just in case, if you are not aware, this gentleman, he has been live streaming since uh, March uh, 2020. <laughs> and... Uh, you see, one important thing that uh, my mentors taught me is to give credit when you have to give credit. So I have to give credit to this gentleman who inspired me to start my own live stream a few months later. I started at the beginning of October because I was watching Emmett and I was so uh, uh, fascinated, first of all, by the piano artistry and also by this wonderful personality and uh, the desire of uh, spreading his music in spite of the difficulties. So it was a great inspiration. And that's how Live at the Flat in Greenwich Village got started. So I give you credit. Well, you've been doing a <laughs> tremendous job. The 90 is no small feat. So congratulations to you. Well, that's uh, uh, it, uh, Live at the Flat in Greenwich Village is a very humble live stream. But if you want to watch big time, go and check out Emmett's. <laughs> oh, <Lord. Yeah>. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Ladies so and gentlemen, I'll Rosano, the maestro Sportiello. Thank you. <laughs> I'll play a little something, and then we'll uh, we'll end up doing something all together. All right. So I'm gonna play uh, a little piece uh, that I composed uh, about ten years ago. And I dedicate it to George Shearing. Mm. You know, I always loved very much uh, George's pianistics and personality. And I call the piece, obviously, to George Shearing with love. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
just just a little <coughs> a little a little thing trying to to channel some of the uh, the softest side of George Shearing. Yeah. Give, give us some stride. Give us give us some stride. As Barry says, <laughs> stride out, son. Stride out. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'll try. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> we are heading towards the end of the show I would like to to thank uh, everyone you know the great audience following us for uh, so long I would like to thank uh, uh, the great musicians that are here tonight and all the musicians that uh, were part of this adventure for 90 episodes uh, after this show we will take another break for a few weeks hopefully we'll be back uh, in the spring um, what can i say it's uh, it's just great at first when i started live streaming i thought that this was not gonna last you know i thought uh, that was just an experiment uh, that was gonna be for a couple of weeks or so and uh, we went on for uh, 90 shows so mm. thanks uh, to the enthusiasm of the people that followed us so i would like to remind you that uh, uh, little promotion if you want if you can uh, you can send a donation so that we can uh, in the future keep uh, having uh, musicians uh, like this uh, playing at the flat in greenwich village uh, the reason why we are stopping is that because I'm going to go on tour for a few weeks. Uh, <coughs> so I'll be back uh, at the end of March. So stay tuned and we'll let you know when the next uh, episode will be. So I would say let's play one more and uh, let's just uh, uh, improvise and see what happens. Are you guys uh, okay if we play after you've gone? Okay. The key of B flat. So I'm gonna get it started and then we'll see what happens. You just join me and let's see what happens. <laughs>
yeah. Valentine's Day at the flat in Greenwich Village. We love you. Thank you so much. Happy Ciao. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Thank Ciao. you so much. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs> All right. <laughs>